Tonight, an embattled psychiatric facility for teens has no teens in it. The state says there are currently no children at Sequel Pomegranate, but where they went and why seems to be something of a mystery. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Tracy Townsend. And I'm Yolanda Harris. As Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haverly explains, it happened a month after the state threatened to take action against the facility. The state says the last of the children once kept behind the walls of this psychiatric facility were removed in July. Sequel Pomegranate has not provided an explanation to us on where the children went or why they were removed. But in June, the state threatened to suspend admissions here and revoke the facility's license following a pattern of problems. I am not sure why the facility made that decision. I do know at this time that should they reopen their facility, they intend to open it with a new care team in place. Amy Price is with Disability Rights Ohio, an advocacy group that looked into the facility and found similar problems to what our investigation found a year ago. The teens inside had been exposed to painful restraint holds and that incidents of violence have left both teens and staffers hurt. I thought you got hit in the face. That was me. Pomegranate has promised to fix its troubles and retrain staff, but problems here have persisted. Police have responded to hundreds of calls, including more than 20 since March of this year. Started punching me in the head and then started punching her again. The state's online checkbook shows Sequel Pomegranate has been paid more than $18 million since 2011, mostly through state contracts or Medicaid reimbursement money for providing care for teens in need of psychiatric or behavioral help. When you hear the name Pomegranate, what comes to mind? Makes me sick. I get angry. I mean, it's a it's immediate trigger for me. You know, I get angry um, and wanting to know how the state let it happen for so long, how FCCS let it happen. You know, FCCS was well aware. Parents like Tracy Ryan are critical of Sequel Pomegranate. She alleges her son was sexually assaulted and later attacked there during a week long stay in 2018. The incidents were documented on a complaint spreadsheet maintained by Franklin County Children's Services but the sexual assault allegation was never substantiated. It's not something that we will ever forget. We've been working to get pomegranate shut down for years, and only people only started listening once you started bringing it about. Nikki Chen is with the foster advocacy group Action Ohio. She says her group has long tried to raise concerns about pomegranate. It is widely known around like every youth that is in care in Ohio knows about pomegranate and knows the dangers and the abuse and neglect that happens there. It was a combination of things that prompted the state to threaten the facility in June, including a rise in COVID cases, a lack of nursing staff, and an alleged riot in March, where the state said that the failure of staff to respond created an environment in which clients were being violent towards each other and staff, resulting in physical abuse and neglect. Bennett Haverly, 10 Investigates. Well, the state said it could not comment on why the facility removed its teenagers. Sequel Pomegranate has not responded to our repeated requests seeking comment about its future plans for the facility.